Hi. Now, in this part of the question, we know that f of x equals 3x e to the power x minus 1. And we're told that when f of x equals 0, a root to this equation, that is a solution, a value of x, is apparently 0 0.2576 to four decimal places. But we've got to prove that it is this. Well, to do this, what I think about is essentially that we've got an interval. Okay, we're going to do a change of sign method. Okay, to do this, and we've got an interval where we've got our root. Let's just say it's here, and that root we're told. Okay, we've got to prove though it's this value: 2.576 to four decimal places. So, what I would set up is a value at the end here and a value at the end here, which if you are measuring to four decimal places, the one before this would have been the value 0 0.2575, and the one on the end here would have been 0 0.2577. Now if we're to get a root that is closest to 0 0.2576, then we want to go halfway in this interval and halfway in this interval. And this value here would be 0 0.25755 and this value up here would be 0 0.25765. Any value in this interval here would be closer to this value. What I'm going to basically be doing when I talk about a change in sign is essentially thinking about what the graph is. Okay, we've got the graph, let's say y, the, we've got the y-axis here, the x-axis here. Now if I was to sketch this graph, I don't know what it looks like, okay? And really I'm not that concerned about what it looks like. All I'm interested in is this interval here between the two red values. Let's just mark them on this x-axis. Now it's not drawn to scale, there's no intention of drawing it to scale, but we've got 0 0.25755 as this value and this one here 0 0.25765. And if f of x, this graph, equals 0 for this particular value, then I would expect the graph of f of x to cross the x-axis somewhere in between this interval. Now whether it comes down through this interval or comes up through the interval, well, we wait to find out. But what I'm going to do is substitute this value and this value into f of x, and if I see that there's been a change of sign, that it's gone, say, from negative to positive, I know the graph would have come up through the x-axis like this, and there would have been a root somewhere in here. Or if it had gone from minus, uh, sorry, from positive to negative, it would have come down through this interval, and there would have been a root somewhere in here. So what I need to do then is just find out what f of each of these values are and check out what the sign's going to be, whether it's going to be plus or minus. So without further ado, let's get on and have a go. So we'll work out what f of 0 0.25755 is. And if you put this value 4x through here into your calculator, you should find you get minus 0 0.000379 and so on. So a negative value, very close to zero. So that value would be down here, okay? Now what I'm hoping for is that this value, when we do f of 0 0.25765, now comes out as a positive value. So I'd know the graph crosses the interval like this. So we now work out what f of 0 0.25765 is and put this value into here for x, see what you get on your calculator. You should find you get 0 0.000109 and so on. Again, a value which is close to zero but positive. So it is going to be a value up here. I've made no intention, as I say, to draw this to scale. But what this does show us is that the graph would have come through here. I don't know what the shape looks like, 
but we'll just imagine it comes up through there like that. But here's our root, okay? And we know that it's somewhere in this interval, so because there's been a change of sign, it must be 0.576 to four decimal places. And that's basically it. We just need to summarize this at the end. So what I'm going to do is write this, that since uh, there's been a change of sign, change of sign, okay, there must be a root, okay, in the interval So therefore, x equals 0 0.2576 to four decimal places. OK, so I know I've drawn out the explanation here, but hopefully you've got an appreciation of what's going on.